Good morning, viewer. Bien de siyar. What is the breaking news? Yes. On last April 8, 2024, millions of Americans saw Dayton temporarily tonight as the moon passed between the sun and earth to create a total solar eclipse. As people in the 115 mile wide path of totality looked up and saw the moon conceal the bright orb of the sun and obscure all but its wispy corona. Earth observing satellites captured imagery of the moon's shadow as it rest eastward over North America. About 1 million miles from Earth, NASA's epic Earth Polychromatic Imaging Camera Imager on the Discover Deep Space Climate Observatory satellite captured the above views of Earth between 16 past 2 minute and 32 past 20 universal time. DSCVR is a joint NASA, NOAA and US Air Force satellite built to observe our planet from Lagrangia point 1A gravitationality stable position between the sun and earth. The moon's shadow swept over North America from the Pacific coast of Mexico through Texas and over the Great Lakes before crossing the Atlantic coast of Newfoundland, Canada. Observers on the ground had a rear view of the sun's active outer atmosphere or corona. Glowing loops of plasma called solar prominences could also be seen extending into the corona. Yeah, plasma is super hot ionized gas that flows along the tangled and twisted structure of the sun's magnetic fields. This view of the corona will never happen again ever, said Michael Crick, a research scientist in the Heliophysics Division at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center during a live broadcast of the eclipse from Dallas, Texas. During the, bus during the broadcast, Crick noted that the spiky and asymmetric nature of the corona was a sign that the sun's magnetic field was active and approaching solar maximum. As the moon's shadow moved east across North America, the NOAA-20 satellite orbited the earth from pole to pole and captured the images of earth from east to west. The image above is a mosaic comprised of swaths of images collected by the satellite at three different times of April 8. The right thread of the image shows the eastern United States at about 10 past 1 pm before the eclipse had begun. The middle part was captured at about 50 past 1 pm, central time 50 past 18 universal time when the eclipse was in progress in the center of the country. Even outside of the path of totality, skies were much darker throughout the years. The left throat of the image was collected at about 30 past 1 pm Pacific time, 30 past 20 universal time after the moon's shadow had moved out over the Atlantic Ocean. Beautiful. Be the support.